So what I want to do in this video is I want to show the Herco WinMax feature called NC Merge. I want to be able to merge a conversational program with NC programs. I'm actually going to insert an NC program into the conversational and show how we can do some conversational blocks and then call an NC program uh, to run as well. The way I want to do this is I'm going to do it in a five-sided environment. I want to show not only can I bring in a conversation or an NC program and manipulate that without changing any G code, I can also use it to put in transform planes to put on five sides of a, of a part if I wish. So what I've done is I've created a piece of stock geometry that is three inches by three inches by three inches. I have some NC programs brought in here uh, that have all five branches of the US military and each one of these is four inches in diameter. I said that my block is only three inches so right off the bat I'm going to have one issue to deal with. But let me show you how we would bring this in. I'm going to do the army and I'm going to put it on the top of the part. If I look at the G-code program you can see that this is just your standard NC program that is going to engrave the Army logo at four inches in diameter. The thing I need to know is what is this four digit no, uh, number here? The program number is 5555. I'm going to need to know that. When I go to my conversational program, I'm going to insert a conversational block called NC program call. And the only thing I need to put there is 5555. And you'll see that it says that the program must end with an M99. That's the only altering or only editing I need to do of the NC program. And that is to change the M2 or the M30 at the end of the program to an M99. Just as if I were going to call this as a subprogram in a G-code program. This is actually going to be a subprogram within the conversational program. So once I put this NC program call in my program and I draw, it's going to bring the Army logo into the program and run it. But we already noticed that, as I said, this is a 4-inch round logo on a 3-inch part. It's already too small. So we need to change that. I need to alter the size of this program, but I don't want to change the code at all. So what I'm going to do is in my conversational program, I'm going to insert a pattern scale block right before it. I'm going to scale it down to 0.75 in the X and Y, so three quarters of the size. And I'm going to leave the Z depth the same. Immediately after the NC program call, I'm going to put my pattern end. If you're familiar with patterns, you'll know that for every pattern block, I have to have a pattern end block. Now if I bring my graphics up and look, I have now shrunk this down to three-quarters of the original size, and it does fit on the block. However, I want to go a little smaller. I want to have more of a border around the outside. And I can simply now adjust these numbers to get what I want. I'm going to do 0.65 this time. redraw that and now I have a little bit smaller so I like that. Let's say that for whatever reason also I needed to nest this pattern with a way to rotate. I want to rotate that program 45 degrees. I don't want it straight on like that. Well I can simply then go to my block or my program insert a pattern loop rotate I'm going to rotate around the center of the program, which in this case is 0, 0, and I'm going to go 45 degrees. As we said, for every pattern, there has to be a pattern end. Now I not only have it shrunk to size, I've rotated it into position without having to change my code at all. So now let's put maybe the Navy logo on the front of the part using conversational transformed planes. 
These are three axis G code programs. Let me open the Navy. It's just your standard three axis XYZ coordinates. This program begins with 1111, so I'm going to need to know that. Let's go into my conversational program here. Let's insert an NC program call. 1111. But if I were to just draw this now, that's going to be drawn on the top of the part. So I want to put this in a transform plane. So there's some videos um, on our YouTube channel that show how to do transform planes, but I'm going to do this very quickly. So I'm going to go to the program that I want, or the block that I want to move. I'm going to insert a rotary transform plane before it. I'm going to move zero from the center of this top to the center of the right side, or the front side. So I need to move negative three inches in Y, negative three inches in Z, and then rotate around the X 90 degrees. I do both of those things in this block. I'm going to move my origin point, minus 3 in the Y, minus, no, not minus 3, minus an inch and a half. <laughs> minus 1.5 in the Y, minus 1.5 in the Z. It's a 3-inch block, so I'm going half the distance. Then I'm going to rotate around the X to the front side, positive 90 degrees. Then I call my NC program, and then I end my transform plane. But we already know that the 4 inches is too big. So not only do I need to rotate it into position, I need to scale it. So I'll put a pattern, scale. We know our magic number is 0.65. Leaving the depth the same. And for every pattern, I have to have a pattern end. So I do a pattern end. Verify that I have my transform plane, my scale, my pattern end. Now if I go to draw this, I'll have the Navy logo on the front. Now let's put the Marine Corps logo on the right side. I already know that the Marine Corps logo program is 7777. But if I were to simply just rotate around the Y axis to put it on this side, I would have the logo in place, but it would be rotated differently. It would be rotated 90 degrees from what I want. I want it to be up and down. And I could simply use a pattern loop rotate to do that, like we rotated the top, but I can also use compound angles in my transform plane. If I rotated to the front 90 degrees, like I did here on the uh, Navy logo, and then rotated around Z 90 degrees, that would put it in the right orientation and in the right location, and that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to do a transform plane. I'm going to scale it. I'm going to call my program end it and I'm going to end the transform plane. So just in the interest of time I'm going to copy these blocks and I'm going to paste them at the end of the program. I'm going to change my transform plane to now go 1.5 positive in the X. I don't need to move Y at all and I'll drop down minus an inch and a half in Z. Then I'm going to rotate 90 degrees to the front side of the part, but then I'm going to rotate around Z 90 degrees as well. I said that my Marine Corps logo is 7777, so I'll change that and now draw. And I will have all three logos in position and oriented in the correct orientation for my needs.